These are the things not to use in the hair. No coloured hair elastics. Even if you think they're going to get hidden, sometimes they don't. These are not the correct bobby pins for buttons. These are for attaching headdresses and um, hats and those kind of things. So do not use them for the bun. These small V bobby pins are very bendy and not very reliable and you need to use about 30 instead of 3. So don't use these. Rather use the much bigger one. These are the proper bun pins. Also the hairnet is the color of their hair. Just check, this is an old one, just check that they are in fact still elasticized and don't have any holes in them. And it's also not a good idea to use a hair brush. A comb works much better. Things you'll need to do a good bun. A fine tooth comb, hair gel, not hairspray, uh, hair elastic the same colour as the child's hair, large V bobby pins. Now you can buy special bun nets, the size of the bun, which is those ones over there. Or if you do get larger ones in a packet, I'll show you how to fold them over so that they work just as well. How to do your bun. Firstly taking some gel, place it generously around the hairline behind the ears, underneath the neck. As you can see, she's got fairly short hair, but gel will keep it in place. Then taking the fine tooth comb, comb the gel through. Brushes don't do it as well as the comb does. Um, it's always a good idea to keep the comb fairly flat against the head otherwise it tends to ripple and once you put the elastic in there'll be ridges and it won't look nearly as smooth. For the, 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 the most general placing of a bun the ponytail needs to be level with the top of the ears. So taking the hair tie that's exactly the same colour as the child's hair. You can always put more gel on after you've tied the ponytail, but just to secure it so it's exactly in the right place. There we go, so level with the top of the ear. Then just take a little bit more gel if you need to, especially if it's short and there's maybe a fringe that needed to be gelled back. Again, keep the comb level with the head as you do it. Sometimes not a good idea for the mum to do the hair because the children complain if it's their own mum, but not so bad if it's somebody else. It might be worth teaching Nana to do it. There we go. And that's pretty smooth. Then if you have one of the bigger hair nets, what you're going to do is put it over your hands and if there's not too much hair, you can wrap it around three times. I'll do that again. If you've got the proper size bun net, you just leave it as it is. Or if your child's got a lot of hair, you may want to do double or triple. And then you just twist the hair, even if it's short. If it's really short about there, you could actually just make it like a whale spout and just put the net over that so that you have what looks like a bun shape inside the hair net. But uh, hers is long enough. So you just give it a bit of a twist, put the net over. and smooth it fairly out. We don't want it looking like a knob on the back of her head. It really needs to be part of her head. So we take the, the big V bobby pins and you aim it towards the head and in. Towards the head and in. 
towards the head and in and towards the head and in and literally you only need four and then we're done you may want to do a bit of tidying up with gel just to make sure that it's all all the little wispies are away but yeah basically that's it if your child needs to wear the curly hair scrunchie all you will do is add it to the bun that's there already it is elasticized you just put it around the bun and then it's a good idea to secure it with a few bobby pins so they don't leave their hair lying on the stage so you just catch the maybe in two places one on either side and there we go just turn your head all good to go if you need to attach the ponytail hairpiece you will see there's a comb at the base a comb at the top and a bobble hair tie now the best thing to do is once you've done the bun is to actually not have the V pins in keep it exactly as it is in the hairnet but without the pins and then all you do is you take this is not her hairpiece so this um, normally she would wear her own one but it just doesn't have the combs so for better demonstration we're using the one with the combs so ideally it's got to match the gelled hair perfectly so what you do is you take the top comb and you place it in behind the elastic at the top of the head you then take the two bobbles and you fasten them underneath the hair elastic so you've still got the bun there but it's now secured you then take the V bobby pins and you re-secure the bun so just as you would have if you'd made the normal bun in towards the head and under and in towards so you have your bun underneath but it's tied around the ponytail and the comb is in you then take the bottom comb and put that push that in underneath the base of the bun and then taking two of the sliding bobby pins you actually just secure you just secure that bottom comb so if you can just turn your head that way we actually just put the bobby pin across the comb and one on the other side so the comb is secure at the bottom and the top you then take a few more of these V bobby pins and taking the base of the hair piece you do what you would have done with the bun because it has got holes it is um, it does have holes in it you just put it in straight towards the head and hook it under and again straight towards the head and hook it under you probably don't need more than that because it is actually tied to the hair both the combs are in and it's secured with the bobby pins